Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my assistant and mascot. In this lesson we are going to review addition and subtraction terminology and also the bar diagrams a little bit. Now, in addition and subtraction both, we are dealing with parts and a total. In addition, of course, you will be adding the parts and getting the total as your answer. In subtraction, you start with the total and subtract one or some of the parts, and then your answer is one of the parts. And this bar diagram here, or block model, illustrates that. Here we have, you can think of it as a board of a certain length that would be divided into three parts. The parts are 49, x and 52. And the total length of the board is given here, it is 211. So, I can write now an addition here. I add the parts, 49 and x and 52, and I get the total, which is 211. Then I can also write several different subtractions from this. I start the subtractions always with the total. From the total I take away some of the parts. For example, I took away x and 49. If I take away x and 49 parts, then what is left is the 52, right? Or, I can take away from the total 49 and 52, and then that would leave me the part that is x, the unknown. Or one more I can write, I can take away from 211 x and 52, and then that would leave 49, right? And if I was solving this as my equation, then this particular one here, is what I would use to solve x. I would subtract 211 minus 49 minus 52 and then I would get my x, okay? And here, let's draw a diagram, this kind of a diagram or a model, when the total is 600 and the parts are this, this, this and this, four parts, and solve for x. Okay, so let me draw the bar model. I just draw a long bar here, like a board, and divide it into four parts but in unequal parts. Now my total is 600, so let me mark it here. 600 from one end to the other. 210 is one of the parts, so that's about a third of it. 99 is one of the parts. 52 would be a little one. And then X. It doesn't matter in which order you put these parts here either. Now, solve for X. Okay, X is one of the parts, so I will find it by subtracting, right? I will take 600 minus those three. That would solve it. So let me write it here. 600 minus that minus that minus 52 equals x. Okay? Now, in practice, if I want to subtract those three, I can first add those three together and as a lump sum, so to speak, subtract from 600. So let me do that here. I will add those three different parts here. 2 plus 9 is 11, and here we get 16. Okay, 361. So now I subtract 600 minus 361, which leaves me 239. That's easy enough to do mentally. It's the reason why I didn't write it down here, under each other. Now, let's go on and review the terminology for addition and subtraction. In addition, we have addend and sum, the two words to remember. An addend is a number you're adding, like 12 is one of the addends, 7 is another, and x is another. There's three addends in this equation here. Sum is the answer here, of course. This is the sum. But also, this whole expression where we're adding these parts is called a sum too. Okay? So 12 plus 7 plus x is called a sum. And 30 is, as the answer, is also the sum. You can think of this as the sum that hasn't been solved yet. Sum that is written out, okay? And this is the sum that has been solved. Over here, in subtraction, we have three terms to remember. Minuend, subtrahend, and the difference. Now, a difference is the answer. The minuend and subtrahend are the two other numbers in it. And minuend comes first, okay? I always remember it because in alphabet, minuend comes before subtrahend. M comes before S, so minuend comes first. This is the minuend, 
subtrahend is this one. And if you had more numbers you're subtracting, then all of them would be subtrahends. Like here, this is min win, and all these are subtrahends. The difference is then the answer, but also the subtraction expression itself is the difference. 72 minus x is the difference, okay? You can think of it as the difference that hasn't been solved yet, or the difference written out. Or we also say the difference of 72 and x is 72 minus x. Now, let's go on. Here is a problem that practices these terms. The difference is 219, the minimum end is 472, and the subtrahend is unknown. What is it, Matthew? Oh, he wants to tell me something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he loves this kind of problems very much. He loves unknowns, he said. Yeah, I like them too, actually. Algebra is fun. This is algebra. We have an unknown there. And so we better use x, right? The difference is 219. The minimum end is 472. Let's start with the minimum end. Then we write the subtrahend. But since we don't know it, we write x for it. And the answer, the difference, is 219. But let's see, we need to solve this too. Matthew, how would you do it? Oh yeah, he knows exactly how to do it. But if you don't, if you don't know how to do this, make a similar problem that is easier. A helping problem. Would this be an easier problem to solve? 7 minus something equals 2. The answer is 5. But how do you get it using 7 and 2? You subtract 7 minus 2. So in this problem here, we subtract this minus this to get x. So we do 472, take away 219, subtract. 2 minus 9. No, can't do it. So we need to regroup here. Get 3, 5, and 2. So that is our answer, 253. And you could check it by adding also. All right, let's go on. In these last two ones, we need to write the expression to match this verbal sentence. Subtract from 45 the sum of 17 and 8. Okay, think first of this, what it says, the sum of 17 and 8 here. That is simple language, it means 17 plus 8, right? It's a subtract from 45. That means 45 minus something, okay? 45 minus that thingy. So 45 minus. But there's one more thing to do here because if I go 45 minus 17 first and then I add 8 to that, that's not what this is meaning. It's meaning that we need to add 17 plus 8 first. So we'll use parentheses to change the order of operations to make sure that the addition is done first. So that's it now. Add to 45 the difference of 17 and 8. Add to 45. That means 45 plus. The difference of 17 and 8 is of course 17 minus 8. Okay, so we have 17 minus 8 there. And then we have 45 and addition. It sounds like we need to write it 45 plus what follows. So we write 45 plus. Okay, and again, let's put parentheses here to make sure that we actually calculate the difference first, and only after that we add 45 plus that difference. Okay, hope this was helpful.